you've played with a lot of good guys. Is there anyone that stands out to you to be one of your favorite teammates or a guy that you learned a lot from? Uh, I think I think Aaron Gordon is probably um, I've had like probably the most fun playing with. Mm -hmm. um, at that point in time, it was kind of I was kind of like real. I was, I'm still young, but I was real, real young, and I was trying to you know figure it out. And he, he kind of taught me how to win, taught me how to play hard a little bit just by watching him, seeing how he reacts, how he does. He's such a, he's a savage. He really, he really is a savage. We brought Peach Jam back to the West Coast, man, and that's great. Man. I, I, we tried to tell him, it's back strong. We're the number one team in the nation. People were believing us and stuff, but now you know. And that's all there is to it, man. Soldiers, we out here, you know what I mean? Peach Jam 2012 champs. That's all there is to it. How, how he approaches the game, and he you know, went out there, was injured the whole summer. Um, Peach Jam went out there. Got the peach jam, didn't play a game. First time he got the first time he got any type of open look at the rim, caught it, went, did a 360 windmill off like didn't play it all summer. I was like, this dude's ridiculous. And he just after that he set the tone for the whole tournament and just ran the rip through rip through peach jam, ended up winning the thing. Um, but definitely my far I can I said it sounds out to me, um, my favorite play, my favorite to play with thus far. Do you think he got screwed in the dunk contest? Man. <laughs> I uh, think you did. Uh, I mean, let me be biased for me, but I yeah. think you did. Oh, and I'm man. still mad about it to this day. I mean, you want to give it to him because it's only, <laughs> you want to give it to him because like Zach's already got one, but I mean, Zach didn't, like, <laughs> it was, Zach wasn't doing no cupcake dunks. They're yeah. all 50 dunks. So huh. it's almost, almost like, who do you want to give the, t the championship to? And I, sometimes you wish like, dang, I wish we had like a, a eye test voter there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just to give you the eye test type of thing. Um, but we don't, and that's the that's the beauty of the dunk competition. Uh, he's put on, I mean, regardless of how you say it, I think he put on a top 10 performance, and I think he's the only person that has put on that performance that has not won it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think all of us will have a lot of respect for him. I know it's heartbreaking for him, um, especially going through that little, you know, spill the last time that they didn't work out for him. I, yeah. I really hope he won that one, but yeah. I think he's on that, that list, and I, I'll give him the, the, uh, the trophy from my heart, I guess. I would have to agree <laughs> yeah. with that. Who would you say that you emulate your game around? Is there any guys that you really looked up to growing up? Um, yeah, I mean, I grew up watching uh, Kobe, obviously LA native, uh, James a lot growing up. Um, Meta World Peace a lot, Kawhi a lot um, as a youngin. And, you know, I like to take pieces from everybody's games now, nowadays. Um, I watch everyone in the NBA and there's no bias. Obviously, I'm a, I think I'm an ultra competitor, so obviously I'm gonna compete with the best, even though I think they're really, really good. I think I'm really, really good too. So, you know, we're gonna you're gonna see where it's at. Everybody has to lace them up the same every night. Mm -hmm. um, but I like to take I like to take from everybody's game. It can be Andre. It could be anybody's game that I think I can use for mine. Uh, I'll take. So with the game and how it's been changing, do you feel like you are more obligated to really get that three pointer down consistently and get your shot um, done consistently? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a premium at this point in time in the NBA that you're able to shoot the ball from outside well, um, especially for what I want to be at and where I want to do in my career and it's where I want to go. Um, it's a premium for me to, to understand it and learn it and you know take it seriously and get good at it. And I think I'm taking some steps forward this summer with that. Um, you don't build Rome in a day, so it's not like you know, I'm not expecting anything crazy, but I think I've taken some steps forward with that and it's all about process. The, the better, the more you shoot, the more reps you get, the better shooter will be. So the more years I'm able to put in the same process I've done thus far this summer, then the better and better I'll get at shooting. And at this point, I think it's just a matter of time before I get to a point where I'm making shots at the same rate I was making in college and high school at one point and can be more consistent. Now. Your time at Arizona, Talk to me about, you know, what Sean Miller was able to do with this program and how he's always able to get big time players who end up getting drafted in the NBA. Yeah, I think Sean's a really honest dude. He's a really no, no nonsense guy. So guys that are serious about basketball and guys that really want to get to the next level and guys that, you know, want to get better and want to be challenged, um, they go to Arizona. I mean, I think he builds that culture around. Um, I think we've been unlucky in, in a lot of situations if the reason why we're not um, got as many championships as, you know, some of the other programs have, mm -hmm. um, but um, we're definitely at a top of the line school, um, and it's it's about the, the environment he's mm -hmm. been around. Um, the, the the program has been crazy, and obviously it's it's truly a players program. I can go back there now, sit there for the whole summer workout, get the same training I would get, get the same PC I would get. Mm -hmm. You know, we go to lunch at least once a week, and he you know check in on me, and 
during the season he comes to training camp and checks in on me and everybody he gets around everybody so um, that's just nice to have and then once you do that for one or two guys and yeah. guys hear about it, it you know guys want to keep coming back and get the same treatment so he's doing a great job with that so you mentioned Kobe you mentioned LeBron gotta ask who's the GOAT I mean my my GOAT is Kobe okay my GOAT is Kobe so I can't there's no it'd be disrespectful for me to be from LA and, <laughs> and then give LeBron that you know but I mean I can make an argument for, for Kobe I mean the way he approaches the game, you know, obviously the ring thus far, um, the legacy he's left with one franchise. Um, second to only one, I think, in my opinion. So to me, in my eyes, he's, he's, the, he's, he's the greatest of all time, other than Michael Jordan, so. Oh, so Michael Jordan. Yeah. Okay, so Michael yeah. Jordan's really the GOAT. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. but you gotta, you gotta give Kobe some kudos. Yes, okay, I, give my, I, give, I give Kobe the kudos yeah. in that way. Yeah. Um, Michael Jordan, I mean, I actually, I heard it on, I think I was watching some show the other day, something I was watching at Fox Sports. What's the one on Fox Sports with Skip and Undisputed? Uh, Undisputed, yeah. Yeah, some dude was talking about, um, I'm not sure, they, I think they had a guest on, they, they ran off on like my, why Michael Jordan's a GOAT and he was completely and totally right. Michael Jordan was the scoring champ, defensive player of the year in the same year, won the championship that year, mm -hmm. won the All-Star All MVP that year. He had Scotty on the defense, like come on, this, basically he's saying he was the best player on both sides of the ball and then won the championship in less than five games in the same year. And then by the way, he did it three years in a row, he just kept doing it. And it's like, that's total domination. It is. Do you think there's um, anyone in the league now that can surpass him? Anything's possible. Yeah. Anything's possible. Basketball is a, it's a game of repetition. It's going to keep getting better and better as people keep doing it more and more. So, do I think someone will pass him one day? 100%. Wow. But right now. So, if you could steal any move from any NBA player, either who is in the league now or a former NBA player, who would it be? I still Kevin Durant's pull up three. Okay. Unguardable, almost. Unguardable. Mm -hmm. Unguardable. If you have anything, I mean, I mean, <laughs> the length, yeah, it's impossible. I mean, I have to guard it, so it's not like, yeah. a, you know, it, it's a tough cover. You, all you can do is get a hand up, contest. Don't, I mean, don't jump too close to him. You're going to foul him. Don't jump into him. You just got to get a hand up and make it hard for him. Mm -hmm. That's about it. But talk about, unstop I mean, unstoppable shots, either that or, or the hook from Kareem. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, too. I mean, you got to talk about shots. That you're not, you're, I mean, we're talking about KD, game on the line. Here. Oh, yeah. I mean, LeBron's not, a, he's not a small dude by any stretch. Mm -hmm. And he has a, oh, a seven, three, seven, four wingspan. Yep. So to get that up and over top of him, by the way, look, I mean, just over, up and over body to body with the same thing. It's a tough, tough, tough cover. If you were a GM and you had to have your top five starting five all time, who would you have on your list? Um, Top five starting five of all time. My list would be way different. I want to hear it. Um... Wow, that's a, that's a great question. I love it. I, this is my go-to question because I um, love hearing everyone's answers. I'm just trying to run off. I'm going to miss somebody though. It's okay. You just name name a point guard. Well, technically there isn't like uh, positions I'm not, anymore. Yeah, but yeah. Name my position. No, you don't have to that's do that. That's the hardest part. Um, LeBron's definitely on my team. Kevin Durant's definitely on my team. Clay Thompson's on my team. Mm. Kawhi Leonard's on my team. Michael Jordan's on my team. Wow, it's a good team. And I don't know how we're gonna line it up. No, it's a little small, but six eleven, yeah. six nine, mm -hmm. six eight, six six, six eight. I like my chances. I do too. <laughs> I think I, like I, my... I do think that's a good one.